first half. It's been a different situation for him in the second half. Ohio State, it seems like they've changed things up on defense, and it's confused them just a tad bit. I think what's happened is we look at the ball control, because remember early in the game how big, how big this had a huge advantage in time of possession? We're relatively even yeah, now. But I think to your point, Gus, Ohio State's pressure has gotten there, and their coverage has gotten tighter on the receivers. First down and 10, put the throw on first down. His back foot nicely done as Benny Fowler comes up with the grab. Let's go downstairs to Benny. Gus, an update on injured Spartan Dan France taken back to the locker room with an injury to his left ankle. Did not look good. Could not put any pressure on it. They took him back in a car. They're doing x-rays and he will likely not return. And France is starting right guard. That's where their depth comes into play. Throughout the season, Michigan State, Christine has played eight offensive linemen. So they have a lot of guys who are comfortable out on the field. It's like Travis Jackson, number 63, has moved into the right guard spot with Jack Allen, number 66. There, and uh, it's still at center. And Bradley Roby is not back, we're back on the field for Ohio State. Here's Cook. He'll off one. Nice throw! And it's caught! Yeah, got it, I got it. Pushing the back by the defense. But the play is going to stand. They'll just bring the ball, the ball back from this point in the foul, I believe. It's a 56-yard game. And those are back-to-back -back big lead throws. By you want to do it now. Oh, gosh. During the run, illegal block in the back by the offense. 10-yard penalty from the start of the foul. First down, Michigan State. I think it's against Tony Lippett downfield. He doesn't care anymore. Gets a receiver, McGarrett Kings Jr. to 